Inside the ICU, St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City is taking us behind their hospital doors to show us what they're dealing with on a day to day basis as COVID 19 cases continue to tick up. CBS's Carter Evans reports. Can you open your eyes for me? At St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City, Dr. Andrew Schlachter has been on the COVID front lines from the start. Is this busier than the beginning of the pandemic? Most certainly. COVID has completely fractured our lives, our personal and our professional lives. Our ICUs are jam packed. The healthcare system, I think, in general, is bedlam. Since early December, cases here have nearly tripled. Out of 286 COVID patients, just 15 are vaccinated. Pamela Maples is not one of them. I don't wish on anybody. She was infected just after Christmas. It sounds like you were scared to take the vaccine. Yeah, I was. Uh, they, everyone kept telling me not to. What do you want those people to know now? Take the vaccine. It's very, very important. Only 53% of the population here is vaccinated, and statewide hospitalizations are at an all-time high. Do you blame the low vaccination rates for all of these full rooms? Yes. Nurse Kristen Soller said she's seen so much heartbreak, and she's had enough. It's devastating for us and we're carrying it home with us and we're sitting in our nursing station talking about how we're all going to need therapy for the next decade to handle this and it didn't have to be like this. Pam. Moments after we left Pamela's room, Dr. Schlachter went back with a message. Your willingness to talk today yes. is going to save people's, people's lives. lives. Thank God, yes. Despite the massive surge in COVID cases, Missouri Governor Mike Parson did declare an end to the pandemic emergency three weeks ago. That emergency order gave hospitals flexibility in moving staff around and adding beds. Without it, they tell us they're struggling to care for the rising number of